Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. If this is your first tutorial then hello, my name is Sophie and I like makeup. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to create this zebra, so please do keep on watching if you'd like to know. So you're going to start off by hiding your eyebrows, if you have any, with a glue stick. As usual, like 90% of my other looks. And then we are going to take the Cryolon Super Color in white, or whatever white face paint you may have, you can use. And you can use water-based paints as well, it doesn't have to be oil-based. And I'm just literally going to apply this across my whole face evenly, making sure it's whiter than... What is white as hell? Titty milk. To all you ladies and gentlemen who may have a shaved head or side, you can go ahead and fill that in as well. And before I start going into details with my eyes, it was probably a good idea to put your contact lenses in first. And as you can probably see by now, I'm leaving out the mouth, eyes and a part of the eyebrow areas because this is going to help me in the next steps. Drag this down to your neck and then apply this all over your chest. Now I'm just going to set that if you're using an oil based paint with the NYX SFX setting powder. And then this is kind of killing two birds in one stone. I'm using a jumbo pencil in milk by NYX for my eyes and this is going to both prime them and make them white as well. I'm just using this on my eyes as well because it's got a little bit of a thicker consistency. Next you want to take some eyeshadow. I'm using the NYX Ultimate Brights eyeshadow palette and you want to start creating a cut crease and I'm using the pink from this. I'm taking an angled brush and I'm really packing on the colour. I'm starting off by sketching out the basic shape of the cut crease and then I'm going in with an eyeshadow brush and I'm just kind of blending it out. I'm really trying hard to pack on this pigment because you want it to be brighter than your future. So I try to go for a bit of a dramatic feel to it so I'm making it quite large and it goes quite high up onto my real eyebrow as well and I drag this all the way down until it goes towards my nose. Taking some glittery shimmery pigment you want to pat this on the rest of your eye and then I'm just doing the exact same thing with the other eye except from I'm using green. Taking the NYX Epic Ink Liner, you want to start creating a wing. I'm making this also big and dramatic, and dragging this quite far upwards. Taking an angled brush, you then want to create some lines underneath your eyes as well, and this is just going to really create kind of like a drag feel. It opens up your eyes a lot, and it, I, I don't know, it just looks very pretty. Let's create some upside down eyebrows. So I'm going in with some black face paint. I'm using the black by Benai and you just literally want to paint them on. And that's kind of the reason why I left the gaps earlier because it just kind of helped me and guided me get them even. Focus, focus, get them even, don't ruin this. I'm then taking a fine brush as well and I'm just creating some fake furs and hairs towards the beginnings of the eyebrows. Where even is the beginning of the eyebrow? You know what I mean. Moving on, we're going to create some stripes. Because these are natural organic shapes, it's quite flexible in how you create them. For the forehead, I kind of wanted to go for a symmetrical-ish feel. And then I'm grabbing some Cryolon face paints in UV colours, which I didn't show on camera, I'm really sorry. All the products will be in the description box below anyway. You want to continue painting the stripes. For the centre of my forehead area to the tip of my nose, I created a lot finer lines. Next, you want to take a bright as hell lipstick and use the NYX liquid suede, mate. Suede. The liquid sued. Sued. <laughs> In the colour little denim dress. I'm overlining them a little bit because I want to give the illusion that they are bigger and faker than my personality. <coughs> I'm then going in with some black face paint and putting it on the areas where if you were to shove your face in ice cream, this would probably be where it would go. Mmm, ice cream. Mmm, food. Food. You also want to take this up to your nose and you want to start blending out the edges as well. Continue on creating stripes and start mixing up the colours. I decided to go for more vertical lines on the cheeks and then horizontal lines on the body. 
And now it's time to apply eyelashes. Boom. Look at the transition though. By the way, unfortunately, I would have applied it to both the top and the bottom, but I didn't actually have enough lashes. You probably sat there wondering where the hell my backdrop just disappeared to. Well, I'm going to be splattering all over my face and my body. So obviously I don't want to get this everywhere. So now I'm just creating a cat eye on the inner corner of my eyes and then I'm lining the purple lines that I created earlier. Do eyes even have corners? They don't technically have corners. Painting your ear is actually surprisingly important because if you don't it just looks like it's sticking out like a sore ear. Unfortunately, because I am a bum bum, I did not film making the ears, but you just want to create ears using some craft foam, or you can actually buy some, I don't know if you can find some like this, and you literally just want to pin this in your hair, or you can create a headband if you wanted to. And I'm also sticking some fluff onto it to give it a bit more life, and voila la! You can now all, ladies and gentlemen, become punk zebras yourself. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I really hoped you found it helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you ever recreate my looks, don't forget to tag me at Goth Spectrum on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see what you do. Please, if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a subscribe, follow and a comment. I'd love to know what you think and I will see you in my next video. Bye!